So right now we're just walking around and finding dogs. Whenever we see them laying here, we bring them some food. So she said there are a lot under the bridge, a lot of dogs there. to 50 dogs living in this small little area. Wow. They only allow two people on each taxi because of COVID. Dogs like this that are born in the streets and left there. Look at this. We're Alex and Lindsay. We're two travelers who were exploring South America. Suddenly, a strict lockdown began in Peru and we've been stuck ever since. Along the way, we took in a stray dog and he hasn't left our side. It's been months and we're still here, so we're documenting the whole experience and sharing it with you. Good morning, guys. It's day 90 of our lockdown here in Cusco, Peru. And today we're doing something really exciting that we've been looking forward to for a really long time. <laughs> we're going to walk and tell you a little bit about it on our way. So we're on our way walking right now to the San Pedro Church to meet up with a member of an organization that we're teaming up with to help stray dogs and stray animals in general. The name of the organization is called Cusco Protección de Animales. So we're super excited to be helping out these animals. We're going to be feeding, watering them, helping with spays and neuters, and we're also going to be helping with vaccinations. So guys, this all started with the GoFundMe for Mr. Potato Head. You guys were so generous that we got a little bit extra money that we aren't going to use for him, but that we're able to use for the other strays, the animals in Cusco that need some help. And if you still want to donate to it, it's still open and the link is down below. So if we get any more, we're going to also add that to it and continue doing this. So everything you're going to be seeing today is all because of you guys. Look at this view. So guys, this is our first time going out before 9 a.m. <laughs> since lockdown ended. And there aren't many people out. More and more people are coming out in Cusco as time goes on and the lockdown starts to lift. But the mornings are still awesome. We decided that we want to go on more walks in the morning because Cusco just has a totally different feel in the morning. It's so calm and beautiful. dry dog food, some canned chicken, and then some chicken neck all together because the dogs like that better than just the plain dry dog food. We have to put some gloves on to mix it, so we're going to do that right now. This is the chicken. We boil it before this. Okay. And the um, chicken yeah, the chicken I think it's perfect this for, for her. This is the thing. They don't trust in people, that's why they are like that. Yeah, I don't blame them. Uh, we are going to leave because sometimes they So right now we're just walking around and finding dogs like these all over the historic center of Cusco. Whenever we see them laying here, we bring them some food. And they love it so much. So as you can see with the last one, sometimes these dogs, they won't come up right away to get the food even if they're hungry because they don't trust people because people will kick them or hit them or push them away if they come up to them. So a lot of them don't really trust us. So you have to leave the food and then you come back to them after. I have the blue, oh. the blue chicken. Uh, oh, you have more. Look at this. Oh. Hello. 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 Hello.
It's a tiny little cat with a tiny little dog protector. Hello. Comidita para You have in a dog bag. Gato también tengo. ¿Qué come? Thank you. So she said there are a lot under the bridge, a lot of dogs there. 30? So we're gonna go below the bridge where we can hopefully find a lot all at once. So this dog just followed us. I think he smelt the food coming from the bags. <laughs> Are they a family? They look similar. Hola amigos. Look at all these dogs here. Hello, we need a head to go. Uh-huh. You're cute, doggy. It's okay. Uh, it's not all the not too young. Too young. Yeah, it's too young. Yeah. 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 So we just fed all these dogs in this area. We're gonna go to a couple more areas and then we're gonna find some below the bridge to spay and neuter. Bye bye! So look, they're following us now as we leave. They want more. They need more help. We'll be back! Gotta save some more. I'm getting followed. Hello baby. Hello baby. Hello. So the area that we're in right now is where a lot of dogs are. Because it's so close to San Pedro Market. So it's more easy for them to get leftover food, scraps, bones. There's literally 30 to 50 dogs living in this small little area all together. We're Guys, coming up this. on an area with a ton of dogs. This is one of the worst spots. So these ones are not used to being around people, so we're not allowed to Get touch me. them. Look at this. They're all getting up. They know good people when they see them. Wow. She was uh, staying at the last week. Si, si. The last week? Okay. Oh. oh! Look at this. Look at this. Alright guys, so now we're going to a new area. So we're getting rid of all the food right here and a bunch of lines around here so the dogs can find it later. We're gonna go and do some of the spay and neutering part of this job. So just two years ago is when the first laws were in place to protect dogs. Before that, people could poison the dogs without any repercussions. They could abuse them. They saw them as like nuisances. So things seem to be getting a lot better here over the last five, 10 years. And it's going really fast now. And people like these, we're with two people now. They're the ones that are helping the situation. So we're glad to be a part of it. And help yeah. feed, uh, spay, get some vaccines to some of these dogs. It feels so good to directly be making a difference. And this organization has been around for 13 years, so they've done a lot of great work. 
All right, guys, we're taking a taxi to go to an area where we're gonna capture some female dogs to spay them. And we had to take two separate taxis from Milagros because they only allow two people in each taxi because of COVID. They can't have anyone in the front seat. And here, you need a seat in between, it looks like. They don't allow anybody Ask to sit Max here anymore. You would have been able to do three or four people in the taxi before, but now only two. So as we were talking to her more, it was very interesting to learn about how Cascanians, not everyone, but a lot of people in Cusco, how they view dogs. They view them as more of a security system, not a part of the family, and they don't treat them very well always. So she said that the female dogs are not wanted at all. People want the male dogs. So a lot of female dogs are the ones that don't get cared for. So a majority, if not all, of the dogs that we were just with a second ago, that big group under the bridge, a lot of those were females because nobody's taking them in. So we've heard some pretty crazy things here about what they do to dogs. One thing is they will poison dogs because there's overpopulation of dogs and they just don't care or they want to get rid of them. And poisoning so the, is just one of the things that we've heard of. The other thing she was saying is cars do not slow down for dogs. They actually think it's kind of funny. She said she's seen people laughing as they speed up to try to hit the dog. So there's definitely a big need here to help animals. So if any of you want to help out, no obligation, but if you want to, you can feel free to give to the GoFundMe and that money will go towards us hands-on helping the dogs and to this organization. Hola chicas, ¿cómo están? Les presento el día de Ajá. Hola. Dogs is over there, the female one. So. so they put her over here at the police station in the shade, and it looks like they're gonna take her in. This is a medicine for tranquilize, what's it? Tranquilize. Yeah. So that sedates the dog, so we're gonna put that in the food. Un, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, seis, siete, ocho, nueve, diez. Allá no. Tú, a ti te conoces más. This little one is in heat, so we need to make sure we get her spade soon so she doesn't reproduce. Hi, she's curious. So it's working on this girl right here. She's eating the chicken that has the tranquilizer in it. So in half an hour she'll fall asleep and then they will get them in order to spay and neuter them. So today we're focusing on this girl right here and then the mom which is over here. I don't want to kill The dogs are loving the chicken necks. We captured our very first dog to get spayed. Look at this little one. She's very sweet and friendly. We're going to the doctor's office or the vet's office so we can get them spayed. So it's a hundred soles to spay or neuter a dog and that also covers one night of recovery. So that's only like $30. In the United States they charge around $200 or more. So that's why it's great to be able to help in Peru because our dollar will go a lot It goes further. really far, yeah. We'd maybe be able to help one dog in the US but we can help 10 with the same amount of money here. So the reason why spaying the females is so helpful is because dogs can have really big litters like 
up to 10 to 12 puppies. So if they have two litters a year, that could be 20 puppies a year times three, that's 60 puppies in three years. And that's probably on the low side. So by spending one female dog for $30, that's preventing 60 stray puppies. Also, we realized that not all Cusqueños are bad to dogs. We're just kind of going off of what a lot of people have told us in our comments, what we've read online, what this organization has said, is that the dogs are not treated in general very well in Cusco. The mom had seven puppies, and here's a few of them right here, and we're gonna help them with all their vaccines. <laughs> so because of you guys, we're able to help these little puppies and get them their vaccinations. So there's many different ways that you guys can help if you're interested. You can sponsor financially to help out puppies, spay neuters for food for the dogs. Also another way that you can help is if you want to foster yourself, you can help foster puppies. And one great thing if you do decide to adopt from this organization and help out is they cover the vaccines, they'll help with spay and neuter around five months old. So you don't have to worry about anything. If you want to adopt, this organization will take care of the vaccines and spay and neuter and any other help you may need. So another awesome thing, if you're not from Peru but you're still interested in adopting a Peruvian dog and helping save a dog's life, you totally can do it because there's this program called Pet Wings and so they help set up the transportation, you just need the right vaccinations and you have to pay for the flight and the kennel but you can get yourself a dog from Peru. If you guys want to donate money to this organization, the Facebook page is called Cusco Protección de Animales and you can send donations there or to their website. You can help this little guy right here. Look at that face. Hi. <laughs> oh. So like we said earlier, there are a ton of dogs in Cusco. A ton of puppies everywhere being born on the streets. So if you want to help out in any way, then you know how to do it. <laughs> Can't believe that there are dogs like this that are born in the streets and left there. I will send you her picture, the new family. All right, now we're going to watch a spay happen. We'll show you a little part of this. So before the dog undergoes surgery, they make sure that the heart and lungs are healthy. So he listens to the heart and lungs. They weigh the dog to know how much anesthesia to give. She's perfect. She's a good dog. So he just gave her some antibiotics. And analgesics to help with the pain. And the Coliseum is up here. Treatment for, you know, for cleaning up the area. So this is where dogs recover for one day after they've been spayed or neutered. <laughs> Alright, we just wrapped up our day. That was one of the best days I've had in a while. That was awesome. <laughs> I think we helped quite a bit. Uh, we're hoping to do this again if we can. Yeah. There's a lot more to be done. Hey, thanks for making it all the way through this video. If you want to watch more, click one of these videos. Subscribe because I'm traveling all around the world and I'm sharing the whole thing with you. Thanks.